Hey everyone, welcome to another time lapse sketching tutorial. For this sketch, we are going to be painting plants and we are going to be using mixed media. We will be using color pencils, paint markers, ink pens, and watercolor. This video is actually the condensed version of the full length tutorial I have made for my patrons. So if you guys want to check out the tutorial and also support my youtube channel at the same time do support me on patreon the idea for today's video actually came from this book the world of urban sketching by stephanie bauer this is definitely one of my favorite books from 2022 so in this book there are a lot of beautiful sketches from urban sketches from around the world. So I saw this sketch by Ikarina Churakova from Brazil and it looks really beautiful. And I thought to myself, maybe I should draw something like this and see how my sketch will turn out. So this was drawn with Copic Multiliner Pen with Posca markers and Copic markers. All right, let's get started. The sketchbook I'm using is a cold press watercolor sketchbook with some paper texture. So I'm just using my pencil to mark out the composition. This is a very straightforward composition. So I'm using a mechanical pencil and I'm blocking out the shapes for the plotted plants. For this sketch, I want to have a mix of line art versus solid colors. I also want to have colored inks versus black ink. Basically, what I want to do is to play around with positive and negative shapes, try to create visual interest with color lines, with textures. So I have colored pencils for textures and watercolor for the solid shapes. So when it comes to mixed media, just play around, mix and match and see what works for you because you probably won't know what works for you until you see it for yourself. And certain media will work better together compared to other media. So there are actually some steps uh, on the right side. For the watercolor that I'm using, the color that I'm using, it's uh, it looks like permanent brown. The pigment is PBR25. Um, the other color on the left side, I actually can't remember what it is. Um, most of the paint that I have in my watercolor box were actually uh, added a long time ago, so I cannot remember some of the colors. So here you can see me use black ink to draw the leaves for uh, the plants in the foreground. I will draw some leaves with colored pencils later. So here I have black ink and later on we will have some colored pencil lines for the leaves. So it will create some visual interest and contrast again. The cat is... <sighs> not easy to draw. So far the sketch is looking all right. So this is where I will just add a very quick wash to paint the ground and the curb. I cannot remember the colors that I use again. Uh, anyway, it's probably ultramarine plus um, earth color. And I added Hansa yellow to make uh, the curve a bit greenish because if you can see in the photo uh, it seems like there is some more uh, growth on the curve. For the leaves I'm painting them with Hansa yellow medium and phthalo blue. This uh, color combination will give you uh, a very vibrant green. If you want uh, how should I say it a more yellow green you can try ultramarine with Hansa yellow. So ultramarine is granulating and phthalo blue is not granulating. So depending on the blue that you use, your greens may or may not granulate. And here I'm using phthalo blue and Hansa yellow to mix the darker greens. I've also added red, phthalo red to make the greens much darker. 
So I have big leaves versus small leaves as well. Again, there is this contrast. And we have the mid value green versus the darker value green with some phthalo, sorry, not phthalo red, pyro red, pyro red or pyro, pyro scarlet. So once you add the darker greens against the mid value greens, you can see the light and shadow will appear. And the pencil lines that I mentioned earlier, I use them to draw the leaves on the right side. I'm trying out different colors uh, using different colored pencils to see what works. And I have added more colors. I'm actually using red color pencils, even though the leaves are actually green. Again, because I want to create some visual interest. I believe there are some red colored flowers there at the top right corner. But I'm actually using the red color pencils to draw the leaves. Anyway, I'm not following the reference photo completely. So I'm using my artistic license to change things around just to try different styles for the stock sorry for the stalks of the plants um, I'm using colored pencils and it's good to look at the reference photo to draw the stalks because the thing with nature is nature will look very random. However, when we draw, we tend to draw what we think. So it's good to use nature as a reference and just draw from what we see. Your drawing will just look more natural. So here I'm adding more paint to some of the potted plants again to create contrast. So I have color against white. We have some white potted plants, so I have some colored pots versus white pots. And now I'm adding some darker shadows beneath the plants, just again to create more contrast. The cat is painted with new gum bosch. And you may notice the back of the cat, uh, I actually accidentally painted the green over the cat's body. And I shall just leave the mistake as it is. So right now I'm painting the yellow leaves with gouache. I need to use gouache to paint over the darker steps, the staircase on the right side. Because I don't have um, paint that is opaque enough. I don't have watercolor paint that is opaque enough, so I have to use gouache. And even for gouache, it's not perfectly opaque. So if you want to make your gouache look more opaque, you may have to paint a second layer. But I'm too lazy to do that. Now for the leaves on the left side, I'm using Posca markers to draw and paint those leaves. Uh, Posca marker is opaque, but again, it's not 100% opaque. Oh, while I was drawing the yellow leaves on top of the darker green leaves, some of the paint beneath actually moves. So you really want to make sure that your paint has dried completely before you use Posca markers. Another thing is uh, you should probably use staining colors to paint your initial layers because uh, when you paint other layers on top of colors that are not staining, you may actually lift the colors beneath. So thankfully, I have painted the leaves earlier with phthalo blue, and phthalo blue is a staining color. So the last step is to add some details, um, add some details to the curb, and add some lines to the tiles on the ground to create perspective. So this sketch is done and I really love how this turned out. I love the pots which were drawn with red colored pencils and also the leaves which were drawn with colored pencils. They really provide very nice contrast against watercolor. So this is a fun sketch you can try on your own. 
there is no need to recreate the exact likeness so there is no stress there all right if you guys want to learn more about sketching do check out the many free tutorials i have on my youtube channel and consider supporting me on patreon see you guys in the next video bye